Hey guys, this is Karim Rani from Mobi Scrub and I'm back with the top 10 Android apps for the month of November. A lot of material design apps coming your way, uh, even with this edition. All right, the first one is called Finger. It's basically a gesture based app uh, and it reacts really well to whatever you write. Uh, which is why I think it's on my list because there are tons of um, gesture based launchers out there. Uh, but this one, it's got material design and uh, it's really, really responsive. So it's really easy to add one. Just tap on the plus icon. Uh, you can label your gesture, let's say WhatsApp and see for chat. So uh, it takes in around three entries and that's how it really makes it uh, uh, accurate when you, you know, make a, make a sign. So let's say C should launch WhatsApp and there you go. I just draw a C and it quickly launches. It's really quick and that's the brilliance of this app. The second app I'm going to talk about is called Suggest Movie. Again, a hint of material design, not too much of it. But guys, this app has really made my life easy because I'm always wondering which movie to watch and whether I'm going to like it or not. Here with this, it basically asks you the range of years, uh, basically, you know, how old you want the, the movie to be. Uh, the IMDb rating range and the genre that you really want to watch. And then it will suggest you some really good movies. And as you can see from the examples here, all of them are great. Now, the, the really good part is you can tap on IMDb uh, button at the top. If you've got the app, it'll open the app. Otherwise, it'll take you to the IMDb page of the movie if you want to read more, uh, you know, read reviews of the movie uh, or check out anything else. Next up is called Darker. Now, a lot of times when I'm going to sleep, I, I really like to read in the night, but it's really dark and the brightness of the screen kind of hits my eye really, really bad. It hurts my eye so much, <laughs> it really irritates me. So I usually have a red tint on which and, and a dimmer screen, which is really easy on the eye and I can read for longer if I want. So that's the app. Now with Darker, you can basically set your brightness levels. Uh, you can also select the color of the tint that you want. A lot of apps like Twilight only offers red. Of course, you can you know, increase the temperature or decrease it, but this gives you more options. You've got your favorite color on. I would recommend not to have blue though. And of course, with the pro version, you can time it as well. The fourth one is Inbox and everyone's going crazy about it. Well, of course, it's, it's a whole new take uh, on, on email. So of course, you've got the plus icon. You can, you know, uh, you can add a reminder or send mails to people. So if you want to add a reminder, just tap on remind me and you know, you could just say do something and there's a, there's a timer on top right that you can tap and set a time to it as well. Of course, double tap it and it goes straight into composing an email. And whether it's an email or a to-do task, you could swipe right to uh, clear it or you could swipe left to you know, make it come back again to you and remind you at a particular place or at a particular date and time. So that's really nice. And of course you can just toggle the view from inbox to your um, to-do list and you have all of these things right here. So of course you can again tap swipe right or left to complete them or snooze them. Uh, if you have multiple emails, uh, you can of course, you know, access them from here. You've got all your labels uh, and your bundling. So there's the bundles, you know, so for example, social is a bundle, updates is a bundle and you can set separate settings for that. Now let's jump to the next one. Uh, material design is coming up and it's, it's coming big and everyone's just talking about it so much. So it only makes sense that people want a lot of material design on, on their phones. Now I have the perfect app, which is material wallpapers. You can select from amongst 70 wallpapers and by the time you download this app, it, it's probably going to update itself to even more number of wallpapers and you can set them onto your home screen or to your lock screen and get a flavor of Android lollipop on your phone. So I think that's pretty good. Now, another material design app is called Notes. Uh, if you use Simple Note, it's pretty much like that, except this comes with material design. So it's really good looking, neat and clean, minimalistic. You can set a title, you can add tags to your note. So it helps, uh, you know, searching for your notes a little better. And uh, then you can just start writing something in, in the body copy. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I use body copy. I just write a lot of emails the whole day. Um, yeah, so you can write something here and uh, and that's pretty much it that's there in this app. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very no-nonsense, simple note-taking app. Save it and you've got it right there. Long press on it and you can cancel, delete, or you can share it, well, of course, with through multiple apps, uh, with your friends on, on WhatsApp or, you know, colleagues on Gmail or whatever. Uh, you can set passwords, uh, sorry, one password to your app so that, you know, your notes are personal to you and no one else can access them. Now, this app 
Trello. Uh, it's something that I'm just beginning to learn and kind of use more and more. It's going to take some time, but I think it's a brilliant organizer. It's basically like a whiteboard that you have in your offices or in your uh, lecture rooms. You've got this board, the blue color board that you see. You've got cards uh, inside lists. So these are lists and then there are cards inside every list. So, you know, you could, of course, open a card and you can add a lot of different type of items. For example, you know, you could add a note. You could add a checklist, you could, uh, and whatever changes are made to this card, keep getting tracked. So it's a great collaboration tool, right? So you could add more members and have all of them working on that board. So you see activity, there's Karan Binani, which is me. If I had more members on this board, I would see updates from them. Of course, you could, you know, chat, you could attach stuff, you could create checklists, you could create alarms or do, you know, whatever, to-dos and add to this card, which of course resides in a list outside. And then you can create as many lists as you want within a board. Uh, you could drag stuff from one list to the other list. You could archive your cards. If you're done with them, just archive them and you know, you could, they might come handy later. Now, of course there's a board and then there's members section. So you could keep adding more and more people and giving them access to your whiteboard. Uh, and whatever you do, it comes into this notification area. Uh, whatever your users or your friends or your colleagues do all comes in the notification area. Now there's of course a landscape mode, so should be a brilliant thing to use on tablets as well. And of course it allows for some customization as well. The next one today is another major uh, material design productivity app. Uh, as you can see, the whole thing is again, material design, no doubts. The best part is it's got these, uh, it's got a split view an agenda view. Day view, of course, week and month, nothing new there, but the agenda view and the split view is great. The design is what really attracts me to use this app even more. Uh, you know, you have all of these uh, things for each day. Of course, all of these events show up in the split view at the bottom. Keep changing your calendar and uh, uh, day wise, you could just, you know, organize your day, keep adding stuff uh, in between, uh, sorry, tap and hold. There you go. And you can add a new event if you wanted to. Uh, just ensure that you choose the right calendar. So for example, for me, it's my email address um, and I can change labels, uh, you know, as and when I feel. As you can see, very nice. It, it reminds me of MindFlux actually, uh, another really good organizer app, which has got uh, material design. So it's really nice, uh, you know, it helps me organize my day uh, a lot better. And I just love playing with colors. And as you can see, it's got these new material design icons as well. So the app really speaks out the material design language. And it also allows for some customization. So for example, you don't have to stick to blue and white. You could just use gray and orange. Now, next app. You basically keep copying a lot of stuff, right? So whether it's a text message, whether it's an article that you're reading, or it's a tweet that, you know, you just want to tap and hold and copy it to your clipboard. Now you've got all of these things copied somewhere. Introducing stuff merge. So basically whatever you copied is put together together in this one group, right? Of course you can, you know, shift between groups and when you tap on them, it just takes up the text and copy, oh sorry, pastes it into this small text area and you can just keep tapping and you can keep adding stuff. You can edit that and then you can just send it across to whoever you want to. So copying pasting becomes really easy. It becomes like this huge clipboard uh, where you can just keep adding stuff and you know, at, at some later point, just push it out to whoever it was meant for. Next app I want to talk about uh, is called Glimpse Express. Now, it's basically an app to share your location real time for a limited period of time. And the other person can view it even without having the Glimpse app. I think that's the brilliance. Uh, so you just set a timer, let's say 45 minutes. I want to share my location with Karan Binani uh, and they just generate a link. And then on, on, on the other phone, whoever receives this link just has to tap it and that's it. They can now see you, track you, know where you are. Uh, and if they have the Glimpse app loaded, they can even see it on their, on their app, of course. So, you know, it's just, there's a timer of 44 or 45 minutes. Well, of course it took me some 30, 40 seconds to open it in my phone. Uh, and as you can see, the timer is running live. Now, since I'm stationary, um, I don't see any, uh, you know, speed, but I can see that too. And I can, you know, I, metric is under my control, uh, whichever metric system I want to follow. So I think it's great, uh, very easy to share your location with your friend or your family members, uh, good stuff. 
So that's it guys, uh, a lot of material design apps I've introduced again in this version. Let me know which one was your favorite and which ones you ended up downloading. Thank you a lot for watching guys. There are many other videos, a lot of apps that I've talked about in my previous editions. Make sure to check them out. Thank you a lot.